Hello all my beautiful sisters from those other misters. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing my holiday 2019 haul. So I didn't, I didn't buy a lot uh, this holiday season. I suppose I wasn't, I don't know, I wasn't really interested in a lot of the things that released this year. Um, so I only bought a few things which I'm going to take you through but I did receive some holiday related releases uh, in PR so I'm also going to talk about them in this video I was kind of considering not doing a holiday haul this year um, but I did a recap of my 2018 holiday haul and you guys seem to enjoy that, watching it, um, but also I found it really helpful because I was able to see what I purchased and essentially like how little I used things, which then had an impact on how much I purchased this year. I was much more mindful about what I was buying. So I really want to do a holiday haul again. Um, and I thought it would be good to include the PR stuff so again I can look back on it and be like did I use it like what did I use what what really was something that was valuable coming into my collection so that's what I'm doing today we're doing a holiday haul I'm gonna start with the first item that I purchased it was one of the Hourglass Ghost uh, Confession Ultra Slim Lipstick Duos. So they released two of these this year and only one launched in Australia. The other one seems to have been exclusive to the um, Hourglass website and is it Beautylish? Um, let me double check that. Yeah, so it was on Beautylish. Um, the issue, like Beautylish ships to Australia, but they don't ship Hourglass to Australia. So Mecca has really held on to their um, exclusivity with Hourglass in Australia, which is like, it's fine. I'm not really bothered by that, but it really frustrates me when um, they don't get all of the items. Like, and I know that it's up to the stockist to choose which items are going to be like purchased and stocked in store. So they only chose one of the duos. So the shades were I Cherish, which is a beautiful nude. And this one is You Inspire, which is a really dark sort of um, berry red color. Now, the thing with the Hourglass um, collection this year, they have this frosted plastic. Now, I don't, I'm not a massive, massive fan of the way uh, the frosted plastic looks. I do think it looks a bit cheap, especially uh, in the palettes where you can sort of see through it and you can see like the uh, structural support inside the um the frosted plastic it i just think it makes it look a bit like tupperware containerish which is a shame because hourglass is expensive and you want it to feel very luxe something else that i have noticed um that is massively problematic with the packaging it cracks so i'm not sure if you'll be able to see it there but the lid on one of mine has sort of started to crack around the base. I don't know if you can see it. If you can't, you'll have to take my word for it, but it's cracked and it's annoying. What happens if the cap breaks and I can no longer put a cap on this? Like that's just, that's, to me, that's kind of unacceptable. These are motherfucking expensive. Before I move on to the next uh, product that I purchased, I will say I did get my hands on the second set that they released, thanks to Anon. Uh, this was sent um, in a package to Beauty News. I can't get it out. Um, so the shades are All Forever, which I... Oh, there we go. Gotcha. Gotcha. 
So Old Forever is like a reddish brown shade. And then we have I Wonder, which is a sort of dark pinkish nude. Very pretty. I am very, very happy to have them. These are my favorite lipsticks. I'm wearing the nude one. What you called again? I cherish today and I think it's gorgeous. It's really comfortable to wear, which is lovely. So I did get them, which is great. I am very happy. Next thing I purchased uh, is from NARS. So this is the Hustle Cheek Palette. They did release two of these this year and I just picked up one. Um, if you watched my video of things that I wasn't allowed to buy for the holiday season, um, you would know that I said like, don't buy all of the NARS things. I knew I would buy one thing. I do every year. Um, well, I usually buy more than one thing and that was my issue with that. I was kind of like rein it in, just buy one thing and I did. I'm really pleased with um, how I managed to just not go crazy with my purchases this year. So this is the palette. I chose this one because I love the red blush and the um, the highlighter shade is gorgeous and this sort of mauvey blush is also really pretty. So um, the shades are, I believe it's Cirque, Born to be Alive, and I Need a Man. It's gold. The packaging is also stunning. The next thing I purchased is a candle set. So this is from Diptyque. It is uh, their holiday mini trio set of candles. Um, okay, so... Uh, for the past few years, squeaky, for the past few years, I have been buying uh, the holiday candles from Diptyque. But the reason I decided to get these this year was because the design on the outside of the jars is actually printed on. Uh, usually it's a sticker. And I, I have complained... Um, every year that the mini candles like a sticker is not good enough this is diptyque like you know this set was a hundred and where's the price tag i think i've pulled it off it was a hundred and something like 160 dollars or let me check let's do it let's find out the damage yeah 164 dollars okay it's a lot of money and they are like they've been just as expensive in the past so i was i was like this that stickers is not good enough stickers is not good enough from a high-end brand that wants to charge that kind of money um so when i saw this year that they were actually printed on i was like i need to put my money where my mouth is and i need to support this because that I think this is appropriate. Stickers, not appropriate. And my last purchase. Uh, purchases, purchase of multiple products from the Kylie collection. Uh, so this is my first time buy, buying Kylie Cosmetics. Um, I've like experienced it in the past through an episode of the Makeup Breakup, but I've never like actually used them. And I was to be perfectly honest I still haven't used them uh so I picked up the dear Santa palette this is right up my alley oh look at it it's gorgeous I did um I took a chunk out of this one sometimes that happens uh but yeah I I still haven't used it I haven't used it I want to though so I'm gonna leave it on my desk and I might play with it at some stage next week if I have time. Um, the reason I purchased this was because I have been curious about um, Kylie Cosmetics for a while. You know, new brands, I like to try them. I like to see what their quality is like. Last year, she released a holiday palette that I really liked the look of, uh, but I, I didn't buy it. I just didn't go there. And I kind of always had it in my mind that that was a little bit of a regret. And if she ever released another palette that really spoke to me, I would purchase it to try it. And I just think it was by the good graces of the makeup gods that she released a holiday collection that is like me in a palette. So 
it was perfect I had to do it I also picked up um, her collection was very red themed you guys know I love red so how could I resist uh, I also picked up the good at being naughty shimmer eye glaze so this is a red it's kind of like a, a loose pigment that's been pressed with the little lid you, you guys will be familiar with these they're you know drugstore brands have them high-end brands have them like um, Marc Jacobs and Hourglass and all that stuff uh, but it is a gorgeous gorgeous red I do really enjoy that I've only swatched it I'll swatch it for you now I'll show you how it looks sorry about giving you the finger uh, but you can see it's an absolutely stunning color the last item that I picked up was the uh, Kyliner liquid liner pen now I didn't need this I have some red liquid liner pens and they're very nice and you know I don't need another one but I figured I am making a purchase I may as well buy one to try it pen liners are my favorite type this is a felt tip which is not my favorite type of pen liner I prefer a brush tip uh, but it looks pretty damn good it's got good color payoff it's not sheer it doesn't look patchy it doesn't bleed so I am pretty keen to try that but again I haven't yet hello guys I have to check in uh, sans makeup no lighting it's so hot in Melbourne today guys 41 degrees and I can't bear to have the lights on in this room but I have to I have to update this because I forgot something and massive thank you Kat my girl you talked about this product in your holiday haul and I totally forgot about it uh, glass house merry and bright candle it smells like Bo Peep lollies I just like I really want Bo Peep lollies now um, it's it's a thing uh, Daryl Lee sells them and look if you weren't a child of like the 80s or 90s and Australian you may not know what they are but good oh fuck man it smells so good and you know what I feel like it smells a little bit piney like a little whiff of Christmas tree as well which is fucking delicious um, so anyway I got that as well and I want to mention it because um, it's an important one because I do have a lot of uh, a lot of candles in my stash and um, I want to like when I recap this next year I want to make sure that that one has seen a good chunk of use because I do like buying the glass house holiday candles so all right guys back to Haley that doesn't look like this so that is everything that I purchased myself now um, going back to the video that I did of um, products I'm not allowed to or purchases I'm not allowed to make during the holiday season um, I feel like I did pretty well to this point uh, but we are only mid-December when I'm filming this so I still need to get through Christmas Boxing Day and New Year sales so I'm gonna hold off and I'll do a little update on that video when I've gotten myself over the hump of the last of the holiday sales wish me luck let's get into um, some of the PR things that I have so most of this comes through um, Beauty News and Kat and I split things um, we received a package from Mecca and it had a bunch of their holiday releases in it now um, a few things Kat and I split and one thing I just took home for myself so there was a little Kevin Aquan uh, lip pack that contained the glass glow up lip glosses these are so damn cute these are like cute as a button so I just took home two shades I have the brilliant glass and the spectrum bronze here might actually pop on brilliant glass so they have a doe foot in them little bit of like a um, sort of soft vanilla scent it's not it's not like strong at all and they're not overly sticky fairly light on the lips um, but they offer a nice gloss I really like these and I wouldn't have purchased this uh, because I was like no mini lip packs I got so many but I'm actually really glad to have these because I do like them there was also a Mario Badescu facial spray pack in the PR box um, Kat and I split them I have Mm, I have so many facial sprays like so many 
I, I have enough to last like three people a whole year, probably more. It's problematic. I had a obsession during 2019. I can't call it anything less than that. It was a problem. I'm trying to rein it in. So I only took one home from the pack. This is the uh, Aloe Cucumber and Green Tea Facial Mist. Really enjoy the scent of this. And I've never owned this one before. And the last thing that I took home uh, is this guy. So this is the Too Faced Christmas Star palette and or oh, they call it a makeup collection because it contained a couple of other things so there was a mini better than sex mascara and one of their high shine sparkling lip glosses in ginger snap so it is a pinky shade i'm gonna smell it do you smell like gingerbread let's find out oh shit it kind of does i think Wait, I have to compare it to the palette because I'm not sure. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I'm confused, but my god, these smell good. Maybe it smells a bit fruity. Maybe I'm just confused. I don't know, but it smells really good and I got it on my nose. Whoopsies. Then there is the palette. So here it is. This is the one that opens up like... Ow. I just stabbed myself with it. Um, so it opens up. It is, it's too big. It is too big. It is a little bit cumbersome. You definitely have to keep the plastic slip because you're going to get like fallout of product from the eyeshadows into the blushes, bronzers, highlights and vice versa. Um, now I actually use this today and I have a legitimate question for anyone who purchased a Too Faced, like one of their like special palettes this year and in past years. And I'm not being funny, but please tell me in the comments what you guys think of the quality because I was shooketh when I used this. The, the pigmentation of the eyeshadows is so good. I was so surprised. Now, it's been a couple of years since I've purchased one of their, like, what I consider their, like, ornate holiday palettes. So I've got a couple back here, like the Grand Chateau, and I've got La Belle Car Carousel, and the Grand Hotel Cafe. Um, and look, they've, some of them have been okay, and some have been just flat out shithouse. So I've sort of really gone off buying them during the holiday season because I'm concerned that their quality is going to be trash, essentially. Um, also, pair that with often they're kind of cumbersome and big and not that easy or user-friendly to use when it comes to, like, opening this up and putting it on your desk and it literally takes up half your desk. So, I've really gone off using them. But the quality, when I used this today, I was like, Jesus! Do they like step up their game for their holiday palettes? Because I always thought their holiday palettes were a little bit <clears throat> compared to their normal eyeshadow palettes that they release. So yeah, I was surprised. Now when I was doing like my sort of, or when Mecca had their initial holiday release day, Kat and I went and had a look at things in store. And um, I was looking at their snowman palette and that consists of very small little pans of eyeshadows and some of them were gorgeous and I was like oh I kind of want that and I'm not gonna lie I kind of want it now especially after like trying this and being like I really like you you're nice but I think like my issue with this one is it's well, it's not even an issue. It's actually, like, a good thing. The colours are probably the most wearable for me. You've got, like, purples, lots of brown tones. There's a beautiful, like, cranberry red shade. I think, legitimately, like, again, not being funny here, the only shade that I probably wouldn't use is the green. And even that, I would at least try it because it's sparkly as hell. 
but everything in here is like wearable and pretty. Now that I've used it, I'm actually really glad that I've got it. I've just got to make sure that I actually like use it throughout the year because that's my big problem. So after that, everyone, please pray for me that I don't go ahead and buy that snowman palette because I'm not even going to lie. I'm, I'm tempted. Let's do some lush things. Ooh, okay. Now I didn't buy these. I got them in PR. So I was very good. But I, I feel like, okay, little bit of backstory if you're watching this and you didn't watch my um, like holiday products that I'm not allowed to buy. Um, I said that I'm not allowed to buy any Lush things. No Lush things because I have a really bad habit of purchasing Lush holiday items and then not using them. And I'm talking about like bath bombs and bubble bars and stuff like that because I don't have baths. Okay, so it's just this really terrible cycle of buying the things and never using them. It's really bad and I'm aware of it and I've been aware of it for quite a few years and I still kept doing it so this year I was like I'm not doing that then I discovered that Lush had pretty much yognogged everything and again if you don't know this about me yognog is my all-time favorite scent from Lush if I could only choose one scent mine would be yognog and it is a holiday scent and uh, this year they made body conditioners, they made shower gels, uh, they made bath bombs, they had, I think they brought back the soap, maybe, maybe not, but they, like everything, everything was yognogged. I'm pretty sure they even yognogged um, a bubble bar and they brought out a body mist, like one of their scented sprays. They yognogged everything and I was just like, are you bloody kidding me? On the year where I'm like, I can't do this with Lush anymore until I use up some of my products and then I can buy Lush, but I'll only buy the things that I can actually use. Uh, they brought out all of the Yognog things and I was just like, this is, <laughs> the universe hates me this season. But actually the universe didn't hate me at all. Um, Kat and I were invited to a like showcase of the Lush holiday goodies and they were very generous. We were allowed to choose five items um, from the whole store. It didn't even have to be the holiday collection. Uh, and then they also gave us a little goodie bag of things. So I tried to be very smart about the items that I picked. Um, I picked like a shampoo, I picked some lip scrubs um, and shower gels. I didn't choose anything that I knew that I wouldn't likely use, like bath bombs or um, bubble bars. However, I do have bath bombs and bubble bars to show you, but we'll get into that. But the items that I chose from the holiday collection was a one litre bottle of Yognog shower gel. <laughs> This is, this is divine. This is like, mm, mm, I want to drink it. It smells so good. Um, so for starters, if you didn't know, Lush have one, oh, it's, sorry, it's not one liter. It's one kilogram. They have one kilogram bottles of shower gel now. Uh, they had the Yognog one and they also had Snow Fairy that I noticed from the holiday collection. That's lovely. Also in the goodie bag, they gave us one of the smaller shower gels in Yognog. <laughs> it's currently in my shower. I can't even tell you how excited I am about that. Um, and I picked up some lip scrubs because Lush make my favorite lip scrubs. So from the holiday collection, I grabbed the Sugar Plum Fairy scent. This is delicious. Oh, and now it's on my face. So this is like a, it's a berry. It's like blackberry maybe? I don't know. If you guys know for sure, let me know. But it smells like delicious candy berries, like lolly berries. I'm just delicious. Uh, they also gave us in our goodie bag, the Snow Fairy Body Spray. So I love that they have made these body sprays this year. Um, in like the holiday sense. I don't think they did it in past years. I think this is the first time 
But I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of tempted that I, like, I feel, mm, I feel like I need to get the Yognog one. I don't think it's a permanent product, I think it's only for the holiday season. I'm just like, can I live without that? The answer is definitely yes, but also my soul is screaming out for more Yognog. The last items I have from Lush are a bath bomb and a bubble bath, I know, but they had um, stations where you could make one of each. So this is Shoot for the Stars bath bomb. So it's a blue bath bomb with beautiful gold stars in there and they are bath melts, I believe. So it's meant to be like, give you a, a nourishing bath. And the bubble bath is the candy cane bubble bar. So it was really fun to make these and like see how they sort of put them all together. And now I just need to have a bath. Let's talk about Soul Body. So I have um, their uh, pink champagne um, holiday collection here. So they released a shimmering body powder. So this is, this is it here. So it's like a sort of rose goldy, pinky rose gold shade. It is very, very pretty. You can see it there. These face and body highlighters, they have such insane reflect. They're really nice, but they are massive. Look at it. It's as big as my head. Then I have the Glow Oil in Pink Champagne and the Shimmering Dry Oil in Pink Champagne. Now, you can probably see by my shimmering dry oil that it's not shimmering at all and that is because I actually let the shimmer settle I took the oil out and then I got rid of the shimmer because I don't like the shimmer it is glitter it's full-on glitter um, and it gets all over your clothes it falls everywhere it's just it's too much it's covering your body in glitter but the oil Oh, the oil is divine. So I took it out and I I used it that way. And I, I actually really, like, I'm, I'm obsessed. They need to just make the dry oil in big, like, one liter bottles. And I would buy it and use it because it is divine. Uh, the glow oils are also really, really lovely. They're nice and light on the skin. Uh, they do have a shimmer to them. Oh, there you are. Uh, but these aren't glittery, which is nice. So when you rub it in, oh, they smell so good. So when you rub it in, you don't look at it and go, oh, she's sparkling. You go, oh, she's glowing. So I really love the shimmer oils is that what the glow oil sorry glow oil and shimmering dry oil too sparkly for me not my cup of tea but these guys are gorgeous and the oil itself divine i love it i think it's absolutely fantastic i love the soul body scent it's like, just give it to me. Give it to me every day. I want it on my body. I want it everywhere. Let's talk about some palettes. So here I have the Luna Beauty Moon Spell palette. Now, this was released around Halloween. I did have more of a, like, Halloween-related um, holiday theme. Um, but I'm including it in, like, the holiday video because... I kind of consider Halloween part of that festive season. It's kind of like where it starts. Um, so the palette itself, like the, or the packaging, whoo, it's gorgeous. So it's like a little book that comes out of its sleeve. The design on it is fabulous. And inside you have a huge mirror. The mirror is fantastic. Um, and a gorgeous, gorgeous purple and green color story with some um, easy uh, to wear browns. So you can sort of use the browns to create, um, you know, very, very wearable, maybe office friendly looks. Um, you can then pair the browns with some colors to give yourself a little pop of color, or you can go hard with the color, whatever you want to do. Uh, the formula is really, really nice. And I do have, I'm not sure if it's gone up yet or 
if it's going up soon, but I have a demo and very quick uh, review of this. I really enjoy this palette. I'm very glad to have it. I know a lot of people purchase this and adore it, and I completely understand why. Quality is outstanding. Then there is the Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson Conspiracy Collection. So Jeffree Star did uh, come out to say that this would be like their holiday collection and then I believe he was you know doing some like smaller things on the side like mystery boxes um, and re-releasing some uh, lip colors like his original um, uh, liquid lipsticks from I think his first holiday collection something like that uh, anyway received the conspiracy collection in PR this is the conspiracy palette the packaging is sick. I love the packaging. Um, the color story is, look, it, it's a little bit mishmashy, um, but there's a lot of, oh my god, I just headbutt it. Uh, there's a lot of colors in here that I do enjoy. The formula of these really, like, surprised me. I did a review and demo of these. Um, I was surprised. It, it was not what I remember from Jeffree Star. Um, and it, w it was better. It was much better. Um, so I think that is like a, it's a much different take on the holiday season. Uh, it's not, you know, actually based around anything festive, but that's, that's okay. You know, that's fine. Uh, and then there is the mini controversy palette. Um, and again, this one is, I feel like it's a very wearable with like pops of blue, um, which doesn't surprise me because Blue was very popular this year. And then, of course, there was the uh, Diet Shane Lip Balm, the Lip Gloss in Shane Glossen, and I have two of the uh, metallic liquid lipsticks here. I have Shane and I Gotta Go. Um, I've used Shane as a liner. I have put it on my lips. I don't wear metallic liquid lipsticks, but it's a really cool shade as a liner. So that is everything that I have amassed in relation to holiday 2019 releases. Uh, only halfway through the month, so I'm not in the safe zone yet, but if anything else does come into my collection, it will be updated in, you know, like maybe my monthly recap uh, or my monthly purchases videos, uh, so I can keep track of it that way. I am really proud of my my purchases this year. Um, I wanted to rein it in and I feel like I have. I'm really excited for this time next year when I can look back on this video and these products and assess, you know, what was an awesome item that came into my stash. Whether it be, you know, something I purchased for myself or something that came in PR. And that's another reason why I wanted to include PR because, um, you know, not only would it have been fairly boring if I was just showing you the handful of products that I purchased and talking about why I didn't buy much, but sometimes the PR things, they can be sometimes the most awesome things because they're either not on your radar, you weren't considering buying them, or in some cases you actually don't have any access to them. And then you try them and you're just blown away by how amazing they are um, and, you know, how often you actually use them. So I am looking forward to that. Let me know down in the comments what you purchased for the holiday season and whether you feel like you were, um, you know, quite controlled with your purchasing or if you feel like you went a little bit off the rails. If you feel like you went off the rails, that's okay. There's no judgment here. I am... Hayley, who's been off the rails a million times with purchasing beauty products, so I understand you, and I am not here to judge you. What you should do is enjoy those products. Love them and use them. Uh, then it doesn't need to be a regret because you're getting joy out of them. So leave your comments down below. I hope you guys are having a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.